Adenosine demonase or ADA test. ADA is a protein that is produced by cells throughout the body. It is associated with the activation of lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell that plays a role in the immune response to infections. ADA catalyzing the deamination reaction from adenosine to inosine in human body. ADA test measures the amount of ADA present in pleural fluid in order to help diagnose or rule out a tuberculosis infection of the pleuri. ADA acts in proliferation and differentiation of lymphocyte, especially T lymphocyte. An infection by Mycobacterium tuberculosis may cause increased amounts of ADA to be produced in the areas where the bacteria are present. ADA levels are significantly high in patients with tuberculous pleural effusion compared to that in non-tubercular group. Sensitivity and specificity of this test are 94% and 88% respectively. Let's see why ADA is an idea marker for TB pleuritis. Detecting mycobacteria in pleural fluid can be difficult because there may be a large volume of fluid and very low numbers of bacteria present. Though the ADA test is not specific and does not replace the culture for diagnosing TB, it may be positive even when numbers of bacteria are very low and can be used as an adjunct test to help determine whether tuberculosis is the likely source of a person's symptoms. When to get tested When a doctor suspects that someone with chest pain, coughing, and or difficulty breathing has tuberculosis that has spread from their lungs to the pleuri. How is the sample collected for testing? A sample of pleural fluid is collected by a doctor with a syringe and needle using a procedure called thoracentesis. Rarely, other body fluid samples, such as peritoneal or CSF, are collected using procedures specific to the fluid type, serum sample also used to assess the serum ADA level. ADA test is not a diagnostic test, but it may be used along with other tests such as pleural fluid analysis, acid fast bacillus smear and culture, and or tuberculosis molecular testing to help determine whether a person has a mycobacterium tuberculosis infection of the lining of the lungs. A culture is considered the gold standard for diagnosing tuberculosis and guiding treatment, but it may take several days to weeks to complete. Molecular testing and the AFB smear are rapid tests, but they require that a sufficient number of microorganisms be present in the fluid to detect them. Pleural fluid presents a unique problem with detecting mycobacterium tuberculosis because there may be a large volume of fluid with a very low number of bacteria present. Though the ADA test is not definitive, it is a rapid test and may be elevated even when there are few bacteria present. ADA results may be used to help guide treatment initially until results from a culture are available. The ADA test is used as an additional test to help rule in or rule out tuberculosis in pleural fluid. Rarely it may be requested to detect tuberculosis in other body fluids, such as peritoneal fluid or cerebrospinal fluid. Elevated serum ADA activity has been observed in acute hepatitis, hepatocirrhosis, hepatoma, and typhoid conditions also in addition to tuberculous effusions. Determination of ADA activity in patient serum may add unique values to be useful in the diagnostics of liver diseases in combination with ALT or GGT tests. Serum ADA assay may also be useful in the diagnostics of tuberculosis pleuritis. Lower level serum ADA activity has been observed in patients with virosis meningitis, serious immunodeficiency. You are interested in my video creation, like this video. Feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.